hear the prayer of thy servant, which I pray before thee now, day and night, for the children of Israel, thy servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which have sinned against thee. Both I and my father's house have sinned. So when you fast, you confess your sins, you confess your faults, and you show the Lord your petition according to the Spirit so that He may grant it that whatever we ask for and wherever we confess our sins to be forgiven before Him that He may grant it to be done. And He does it. Verse 7 We have dealt very corruptly against thee and have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments which thou commandest thy servant Moses. Yeah, man, we we need a savior, man. These chains of darkness is is desperately wicked, like it says in uh Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. You know, starting with the heart. You know, our members, you know, sort you know, it's like a thorn in our side. Whatever member it may be. You know, the Heavenly Father, you know, He has tremendous mercy, great mercies uh, for us through His Son because we're supposed to have been wiped away as a people. The Lord said He, sh he, 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 will, he will raise up stones in our place. So that goes to show you that the Most High is very merciful, man, to, to us as a people. And we must show him that you know it's really we really appreciate it through the spirit of your how about Shem Shai by committing the acts that we read and study that we're being taught that our ancestors done and and you know we commit it to the best of our ability in these times until the Lord comes back and we can really do the law perfectly because Jeremiah thirty one and thirty one on down to 34 goes into us receiving the law, statutes, commandments in our inward parts and the stony hearts taken away, which is the sinful malignity root, which is a you know an evil heart from out of us and to a fleshly heart, which is the incorruptible bodies. Verse 7, we have dealt very corruptibly, corruptibly against thee. And have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments which thou commandest thy servant Moses. Remember, I beseech thee the word that thou commandest thy servant Moses, saying, If ye transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. Like I mentioned at that time, Nehemiah was in the uh, Persian Empire. He was the, uh, I think, King Xerxes' uh, cupbearer. Verse 9, but if ye turn unto me and keep my commandments and do them, though there were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the heaven, yet will I gather them from thence and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. And the Lord is going to do that with the hopefully let. The hopefully let will be doing the things that the Most High loves, like Nehemiah mentioned. And I mentioned Deuteronomy chapter seven verse nine. You know, you know those that seek the Lord in in His ways, because the Lord is His merciful power and the faithful power to keep it His oath for thousands thousands of generations. So the Lord, He He's He's going to grant that we be. Um, saved from the judgment that's about to come yet will I gather them from thence and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there and the Lord's going to gather us by the chariots you know we may just go into that one big chariot that the Lord Yahweh is going to ride in through prophecy according to the second um, Ezra chapter 13 He's going to beam us up like it says in Revelation chapter 11. The Lord going to say come up hither and we're going to we're going to be beamed up and the whole world's going to look at us 
And then while we're being beamed up, the missiles are going to be coming down to the people that stand on the earth. You know, two thirds included, because two thirds of the Israelites ain't supposed to be tasting what the enemy is supposed to get. But since you don't want to hearken and do the Lord's uh, 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 will by repenting to His Son Yahweh Shai, you're going to be left for fire food. I mean, left to be fire food, Salaki. <laughs> it said, verse ten. Now thee are thy servants and thy people whom thou hast redeemed by thy great power and by thy strong hand. O Lord, I beseech thee, let not thy ear be attentive to the prayer of O Lord, I beseech thee, let now thy ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant and to the prayer of thy servants who desire to fear thy name. And prosper, I pray thee, thy servant this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man, for I was the king's cover. And what happened? Lord, uh, the king of Persia, to uh, let Israel go back and build up the city, build up the walls of the city. Even though the other nations was hating and, and, and trying, you know, hard to keep Israel for, from building up the walls and the desolate places of Jerusalem. But the Lord still allowed it to happen. And before that happened, the prophets was uh, sending up prayers, as such as the prayer I read for, um, from the book of Nehemiah chapter 1. You know, Nehemiah fasting and whatnot. The same thing. In these times, the Lord still hears our prayer, but we know through the Spirit by prophecy, and that's the gift too, because we know by prophecies that things are not going to come to pass until certain prophecies be already set. So we're, you know, and looking for the last two major prophecies, which is the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip to be mandated, and then World War Three. You know Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah thirty and seven. So we just enduring until you know those times be passed because it's already here. It just needs to be uh, mandated even more. And then then we know we literally know like any second the Lord can crack those clouds and deliver us because the scripture says so. And by us getting this gift. Uh, of Yahweh Shai, which is this word, that's a part of the Lord answering our prayers in the deeper sense, you know, prayers that we can't utter to the Most High. You know, the Lord fulfilled that so we can uh, be comforted in His words, like it says in Psalms chapter 23 Thy word and thy staff. Uh, thy rod and thy staff comfort me. The rod and the staff of the, of, of, of the Lord is this word. You know, which the word is the shepherd. That keeps the sheep in line. With, with the rod and the staff. Now I'm going to go ahead and read 2 Ezra chapter 14. Then I'm going to wrap it up. This is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 14 verse uh, 13. Now therefore set thy house in order. And reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble, and now renounce corruption, let go from the immortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature, and set aside the thoughts that are most hate unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. So when we fast and praying and going out camp, posting up videos, that's what we're doing. Letting go of these mortal thoughts, man. In the time to come, man, Jake gonna suffer in the mind more than than the hunger pains from one day of not eating or two days without eating why because they wasn't dealing with the Lord in, in such matters as we deal with the Lord and the matters is us serving the Lord how he want us to serve the Lord want us to pray to him fast to him the uh, Lord want us to, to bid the elect to the marriage go out on the highways and byways to be in decently in order um, he want us to be clean before he comes back and this is 
how we cleanse ourselves is by taking heed to his word. I'm, I'm going to get this in Psalms chapter 1, 19, verse 9. Then I'm going to wrap it up. Chapter 1 18, verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. See? This is how we cleanse our way. This is how we be cleansed before the Heavenly Father before he comes back. So that I'm gonna give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kadash, Quam the elect, Shalom.